I, I've, I felt really good this whole process. Haven't had uh, many setbacks or issues at all. So um, hoping to stay on schedule, but the schedule's still a little, little loose at this point. Kind of to be determined. It's more of a feel thing, how I feel every day, every week. And uh, you know, it's hard to say right now uh, or pinpoint a, a time when, when I could return. Um, but like I said, right now I'm, I'm more focused on the immediacy of, of feeling better as I advance every step and every stage, and you know, kind of do the last things here that I need to do to, to feel uh, game ready. So again, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be sooner than later. But um, again, we're we're kind of open to all the options and, and whatever's best for me. Well, when you talk about a return, are you talking about practice or actually playing the game? Um, both, because I think it is it's steps. You know, you, you have to practice and practice hard for a lengthy period of time before you're ready to return to a game, and then you'll know, make that decision there. So, um, you know, as of right now, I've, I've skated with the guys a few times, but I wouldn't call it a full practice by any means. So, I'm still in the rehab phase and the recovery phase. So, um, as camp gets going here, uh, you know, like I said, we'll take it almost day by day. I think as to when. Um, you know, I can ramp up intensity and volume and action, all those things, and those decisions will be made by my training staff and the docs, and, uh, you know, I rely on them heavily as I have throughout this whole process. So, uh, you know, we're, we're not looking to, to, like I said, have a setback late here by pushing too hard. Um, but again, you know, the, the goal is to get me into game shape as quickly as possible, and that's what they're trying to do. In terms of your training, what have you been able to accomplish this year? Um, you know, I've with the surgery, I've been able to focus on some areas that um, you know perhaps were weaknesses or deficits for me, just physically. Um, you know, oftentimes if you have uh, wear and tear injuries like this, it's probably because something's working harder than it should be, or other parts aren't doing enough. So I spent a lot of time with uh, our guys here, our strength coaches and medical staff, and um, just doing some of those uh, tedious little exercises to to strengthen these muscles that you didn't even know you had sometimes, even after you know 25 years of playing hockey. So. The goal is to, you know, prevent further injury that going forward not only will I have healed from this, but that you won't fall back into the same habits or, or uh, you know, ways you've been doing things. Because, again, the goal of this was not only for this season, but, you know, I want to be healthy and effective for uh, many more years here. So it's not just a short-sighted uh, thing that I had done here just to get back for this season. Like I said, I want to make sure that um, throughout my, my duration here in New Jersey and the rest of my contract that, um, I can get back to being as effective as possible. So we're, we're keeping the long-term goals in mind here as well. So like I said, nobody's uh, trying to rush things